All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night ten. Here we go on the screen UFC Heavyweight Championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Joe Body Bass. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be a good Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Nice leg kick. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, he heard a bell in the jab. Leg kick lands. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. No, 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 no. Digging kick. Oh, big Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep.
Way to hide that leg kick. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nice job to control the range and using his reach advantage to, the, to get that punch on. And he blocks the shot there. Nice shot there by the jail. Slips. Takedown defense is there. Lands a shot to the leg. Nice counter left hook to the head. Left hand, not there. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there, blocked by the defense. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. His work. That was a big check. Misses with the left hook. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Under a minute now to go in round one. Just missed on the front kick there. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Here's the kick blocked by Choi. Slips the punch nicely there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Beautiful punch lands there. Final seconds of round one. Five minutes in the books. We take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway here, DC. You know about his counter-striking. We certainly saw shades of that in the previous round. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He has to continue down this path if he's going to be successful. This is how he wins fights. He's great at countering. He's great at luring out your attack and then making you pay for it. He's got to continue to do the same thing. Checks that leg kick. Inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Choi. Heavy body kick lands. Use your right. Good work, guys. Come on. 
trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Able to block that one. Big inside kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight punch is good. Effective lead right hand there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes to go in round two. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Another nice combination to the head. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Doing work with the jab. Hands high, hands high. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Choice. Head kick attempt, that one is blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. That one certainly found the target. Another punch lands. That was beautiful. Big shot to the head. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Seconds left. 15 seconds. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice oh. oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. Listen, I need you to keep your hands up. You've been here before. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, there 
They're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Outstanding meeting the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice work here on the clinch by Shore. Well, missed on that one. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure... Oh, oh no! It's back to his knee! Oh, oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Big right hand. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Jab, cross, Big power shot there. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Choi gets caught with that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty